Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. All right, we start on 24-hour temperature cast, and I think those numbers are going to climb fast and climb far. A good chance that we're pushing 90 by lunchtime and maybe seeing those top temperatures peak someplace in those middle 90s today. The key will be, can we get some showers to cool things down? I think there will be some. And over the next couple of days, our rain chances are going to go up, which means our daytime temperatures should stay a little bit lower. Still going to be awfully humid out there. That's not changing anytime soon. Got a couple more weeks and then we can start to look for some breaks and all of that. But see here here early in August, lots of hot coming our way. 70 right now at Quincy, 72s for Bainbridge, for Camilla, for Thomasville, for Moultrie, for Tallahassee, for Live Oak. A real popular temperature, 72 this morning. It's not a lot of wind out there moving things around. And I think because of that, we are looking for some of that patchy fog. The sun is on its way up. Usually we get past 7, 730 and the fog starts to subside a little bit this time of year. I still do see visibility down near two miles, though, in Perry. On the radar picture over the past few hours, not much, and I don't expect to find very much. Not today. I think we can get some showers this afternoon, this evening. I think we'll get more tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday. So that's what Futurecast shows us. A little bit of action this afternoon as the air is so warm, so humid, so unstable. But that ridge of higher pressure that brought us the drier weather over the weekend is going to start slowly moving back across the peninsula and out into the Atlantic. And that will allow the showers that got pushed a little further to the west to start creeping back across more of our area for the next couple of days. So higher chances for showers, not all the time nonstop steady rains. We're still looking at those 30 or 45 minute downpour and done type showers. But when we start to get more of them at more points during the day, now we can prevent those temperatures from getting so hot in the first place. I think today those numbers are going to climb, but hopefully the showers will do their part to cool them down after we sit there for only a little while with those really high temperatures. It's south and southwest winds today on the Gulf light 5 to 12 seas, two feet or less. So a pretty good setup for the boaters. 70s muggy this morning, sun officially up at 656. So real soon this afternoon, we'll put the rain chances around 40% mid 90s in the warm spots. It shouldn't be that hot everywhere, and it shouldn't stay that hot for as long as maybe as it did over the weekend, but it's still going to get hot today. Muggy tonight, more mid 70s, and I think over the next few days, watch how those temperatures at least take a few steps back in the afternoons. Maybe we even struggle to reach 90 Wednesday and Thursday, as those two days look like our best chances for more scattered showers.